So what's up guys, welcome back to another episode. Um, so yeah, got some cool new stuff I wanted to show you guys. Um, we're gonna go check out the snake room here in a little bit too, check out the cage that I had posted. Um, I've been really busy, it's kind of why I haven't been posting much, uh, besides getting a new tattoo that's actually killing me at the moment. Um, so I got some new snakes in two days ago. I wanted to share these with you guys. Um, I'm not buying snakes as much as I was before. I'm kind of slowing down, uh, working more on quality over quantity kind of thing. So these snakes I just got, they are very rare. You guys have probably never seen them on YouTube before. I'm really excited to have gotten these. So yeah, let's take them out and look at them. So as you can see, they're two different boxes there, but there's a reason for that. So we're gonna look at the small one first. This dude, so cool. Now, I just got these guys, like I said, two days ago. They're both still in shed, or they're going into shed, so they're not their actual true colors. But man, they are beautiful. So this is the male right here. Oh, he's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Look at that tail. Look at the pattern on the tail. How crazy is that? Oh, oh, oh. Super cool. So by looking at the male, you may or may not be able to tell that this is a temple viper. Now, I know you've probably seen temple vipers on YouTube before, but I promise you, you've probably never seen this type of temple viper. So that is the male. Um, most temple vipers are sexually dimorphic. So the females look a lot better than the males. Now this female I got, she's absolutely stunning. Um, she is also in shed. She is huge. Uh, may or may not be gravid. I don't know. I, I got these guys a couple weeks back, but Delta shipping is still closed for venomous snakes. So I haven't been able to get them until recently. Uh, she is so beautiful. Look at that girl. Mm. So these guys are North Philippine temple vipers. Now I know she looks kind of just bland green right now but like I said she's in the shedding process after she sheds those spots that you see on her are actually like a teal blue beautiful she's almost a neon green color if you look at her tail here you can kind of see it through there wicked pattern on the tail but uh yeah she is she is massive like I can't even get over this girl I'd like to kind of show her face a little bit here so I'll Can we see your face? Look at that snake. Oh my God. So beautiful. So yeah, Northern Philippine Temple Viper. There's actually lots of different species of Temple Vipers. Um, not many that you see here in the States besides the Waggler Eye. But man, I am so happy to have acquired these. She's actually got a very blue stripe on the side of her face too there. Oh, believe me, when uh, after she goes into shed, I'm definitely going to be getting her on camera to get some awesome photos of her. But man, absolutely stunning. So I'm really happy to have these. Um, they will actually, I don't have their cage yet. They will be in quarantine for six weeks, like all of my animals uh, when I get them. But I'm getting a cage for them that should be here. I want to see in about two weeks now um, it's gonna be the biggest cage I've ever had to build but it's gonna be epic and I'm really excited about it I got sent um, some pictures and videos of it the other day it's a custom cage oh, I'm so excited for it it's gonna be an awesome build but 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 there's more stuff coming and I'm actually slowing down like I said but these are the last things that are coming I should hopefully be going to pick them up tomorrow hopefully not a hundred percent sure on that yet but they are gonna be the top rarest snakes um, you will see on YouTube. I promise you, most of you guys have probably never seen these snakes, let alone on YouTube. The snakes that I'm getting, there's, I believe, three people uh, with, with personal collections that own these snakes in captivity, and I'm one of those people. So two other people besides myself. Um, the only other place you would actually see these snakes is 
um, in like a zoo or facility, uh, something like that. So I'm really happy to get those other ones. They're definitely not for beginners, but you guys are gonna have to wait and stay tuned for that. But with that being said, the Waggler Eye is out of quarantine. Came out of quarantine yesterday. Got him, her, excuse me, set up in the snake room in that other vivarium that I built. So let's go check her out. Look at it, how beautiful is that? Oh, I love it. The wall is finally done. Do I have the best vivariums for venomous snakes on YouTube? Yes, yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. So, look at her, she's already sitting way up there. So I'm done with this cage. Um, I still need to do the water, but I'm kind of waiting a little bit, making sure the waterfall and everything's gonna run fine, the filtration system, all that fun stuff. Um, but yeah, for the most part, this cage is done. The plants are already in that stage of bouncing down, but bouncing back up because when you usually plant plants in the vivarium, sometimes they'll bounce. They'll look like they're gonna die, basically, but then they, they bounce back really strong. So, yeah, this cage is looking awesome. There she is, the female Waggler's Viper, the other Temple Viper. So, waterfall's looking good. Very happy with the way it came out. Again, the water feature, not done yet. Um, gonna wait a little bit, but I do have a thermometer in there. I also have a pump that's on the side there, which the water level when I'm done will be all the way up here. Um, but yeah, so it's gonna be awesome. There's lights underneath the platform, so it'll light up the water really well. She's kind of just chilling. Super awesome. I'm really happy with the way this one came out. Also, um, my sister has a male that, um, I will be pairing with this female Waggler Eye, so she's gonna have a partner. That glare is horrible, oh my god. Ugh. Okay, so yeah, so I will have a male Waggler Eye here soon, but uh, I gotta get this girl to eat first, so. Very, very uh, touchy snakes on the eating subject, but uh, yeah. If we can get these guys to breed, that would be phenomenal. So this one that has the Trimosaurus purple maculatus right there. The other ones up on that plant is growing in phenomenally. This was the other last one I did. Plants, everything growing in. The moss is growing in awesome. Got some new vines in there. Hopefully that's gonna start growing. Pope's tree viper, still looking good. Rocking that skull waterfall, all the plants growing. Ugh, phenomenal. You like that? I have a whole shelf full of plants I haven't even used yet. So a lot of people have been asking me about the eyelash vipers that I have. So the eyelash vipers, two of them already died. The one that I had put by himself and one of the adults. Uh, the other two babies that were together yesterday actually took pinky heads by themselves. Uh, so that's a really good sign for them. Uh, out, of, out of the three that are left, I definitely think those two are going to possibly pull through. Again, still too early to tell. Um, the other adult, he is now on a liquid diet. Um, I got this stuff called uh, Carnivore Care. It's supposed to be really good for, for sick stuff. So I gave that to him yesterday. I'm gonna give it to him again in another couple days. Seeing that it is a liquid diet, it is gonna go through him a lot faster. Um, to answer a lot of people's questions, because a lot of people are asking me, you know, what, uh, why don't I just ground up a pinky? It's not as easy as you think, um, especially putting a pinky in a blender and getting it all out, yeah. Um, but yeah, so everybody's doing pretty good. I sold all of the baby squams already. They're all gone. Yeah, cool little update unboxing for you guys. I'm thrilled. I love my new snakes. I can't wait to get the other ones tomorrow. Those are gonna be a mission. Those are gonna be the toughest snakes that I'm ever gonna own. I'll give you guys a hint, they come from Africa, but they're gonna get a whole video just for themselves because they are, they're sick. They're really sick. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video. Tomorrow I'm going in the big snake room. I know you guys haven't seen a lot of those snakes in a little while. Uh, so I'm gonna be going in there and filming some stuff too. I have one of my apprentices coming over. Um, so we're gonna try and get some stuff done. It's gonna be a fun day. So I currently have three apprentices right now. One that comes over twice a week. The other two are coming over bi-weekly. But yeah, getting stuff done left and right, taking a break from building cages for a little bit. So especially with everybody kind of in quarantine right now, everybody else is here in the snake room doing phenomenal, cannot complain. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little video. 
subscribe if you are not already. Smash that like button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Like always, big thank you to my Patreons. Guys, stay tuned. We're going to be doing a live stream soon here on Patreon. If you guys would like to become a Patreon, check out the link in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.